I'm Rick Weiss, I'm the Director of Strategic Communications at DARPA. DARPA, of course, was a sponsor of the DARPA Robotics Challenge, which just took place for a couple of days in Pomona, and one thing we saw is that robots are making a lot of progress. And since it's not my generation so much, but it's the next generation that's really going to be the first to live very much side by side with robots, we should get the kids involved in thinking about and talking about what the implications are going to be of having a society that is populated with robots of various kinds. I'd say that my vision would be human capability would be extended through the use of robotics. I would like to see them help people. If we could get robots that could help people in the home, perhaps do dishes or fix the bed or just take care of all those little tasks that they might have a bit of a hard time doing. We asked students to make three-minute videos that just talk about what kind of a future do they envision with robots, what are the things that they look forward to seeing, and maybe what are the things that they worry about or wouldn't like to see with robots. The video is pretty much outlining like what I think is the future of robotics, like ethics, and like if a robot ever becomes conscious, like how we deal with that. My video describes the uh, use of drones for precision agriculture and the use of personal robotic assistance for elderly people. Five Winters are this amazingly diverse group of kids. I mean, they come from all over the country. They have these really different backgrounds. Well, ever since I was little, I always loved robots. I always loved the idea of just like creating something that's like not human but can like mimic that. Ever since I was a child, uh, my parents introduced me to sci-fi. Since then I've been a robot enthusiast. I think what really inspires me about robots is the idea that we can build these machines, these computers that can actually help us in our everyday lives, that can help people who may be elderly or disabled that require maybe extra care in their homes, a bit of extra help, and we can just build these robots that will be able to help them with that.